train in shorter periods of time because a dog's concentration span is short. Consider them to be toddlers in attention span and understanding. The whole idea is to not force your dog. Let going on the ramp to get a treat be their idea. We want the dog to associate the ramp with good things. Be consistent in rewards and repetition until using a ramp is routine for them. Take your time and allow your dog to take breaks. You can always pick up the lesson later or the next day. Use very high value treats your dog thinks is really yummy. The pieces should be very small but high value because you want to reinforce each tiny move in the right direction. You will need a marker sound. The marker means one thing only. A reward is coming because of what they did the exact moment they heard the marker sound. For this demonstration, we will use the marker sound, yes. B.F. Skinner's research can help us with training. He discovered learning happens quickest when a reward comes every single time correct behavior is performed. Once the behavior has been learned, then switching to random rewards during training ensures the strongest learning. Behaviors reinforced on an unexpected random schedule will need the least amount of rewards, plus they are not easily extinguished or forgotten. For this video demonstration, ramp rails were not used in order to provide the best viewing. Personal knowledge of your dog will help you decide if rails should be used during training and as a permanent thing with your dog. Yes. The goal will be to mark each wanted behavior with a yes, and as soon as possible, follow up with treat and praise. Yes. At the beginning, lots of yeses, treats, and praise. As your dog catches on, the marker word and treats will only be at the bottom and top of the ramp. You are marking behavior to always place pause at the ramp's entrance and exit. You are extinguishing behavior for jumping off midway. Line the ramp yes. with treats yes. and wait for your dog yes. to decide to go after them. Yes. Using the yes. ramp may take several minutes and tries before the dog is comfortable. Next, yeah, work begins here. to yes. shape their behavior yes. to always yes. use all of the ramp to the last inch. With first paw actually placed on the entrance of the ramp, Mark with a yes and praise. Yes. Continue yeses as a dog continues on the ramp. Be yes. sure to get in a yes, yes when the paw is at the last yes. inch of exiting the ramp. Yes. Yes. Consistent training is the key to yes. shaping yes. behavior all of using yes. all the ramp and taking Wait. no shortcuts. Wait for me. Wait. Oops. Okay, go. Yes. See ya. Yes! Go. Yes. 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 Good boy. Plan on reviewing the training lesson each day for a week, then once a week, and then once a month. As you see, they may need a review to keep them from taking shortcuts off the ramp. Block off furniture or gate the room's entrance if you're not there to practice with them correctly using the ramp. Refresher courses will be needed periodically even after the initial training has been completed.
Some dogs might be hesitant to go up a very steep ramp, or they might just be hesitant, regardless of the height of the ramp, just because the ramp is an unusual piece of equipment that they're not familiar with. For those dogs, rather than push them, what we can do is make it simpler and, in the dog's perception, um, safer. So one way we can do that is by teaching it on the flat, by teaching the ramp on the flat, which would mean at the lowest height possible. If you don't have a ramp that can be lowered or, or alternate heights, then just take a piece of wood, a board, maybe about three feet long, cover it with a non-slipping material similar to what your ramp is made of, and lay the board flat on the ground. What we'll do is teach the dog to go over the ramp using the same methods that we teach them to go up even the steep ramp. I have a, uh, since this ramp collapses down to this height, it doesn't go flush with the ground, I'm going to use a pillow here as sort of a landing zone for my dog. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so I got my board flat, got my dog ready. Oh, good girl, Sierra. Yes, 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 yes. Let's try back down. Yes, 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 yes. Come all the way off. Come all the way off. Yes, good girl. So the next step would be to raise it up a little higher. Okay, so what you're going to do now is gradually raise the height of the ramp depending on your dog's comfort level. I've raised it by putting something underneath to, uh, that'll be stable, but give me just a little slight higher angle. I've also added a cushion over here to the landing zone to uh, make that higher and give them a higher target. So I like having this here because it'll discourage the dog from jumping off and uh, it will also give them something to target that's beyond the top of the ramp itself. Again, you're going to train just as you did before. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. And again, giving them something to target beyond the top of the ramp. Yes, yes, uh oh, yes, yes, good girl. So continue, repeat, 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 until your dog is really comfortable at each level. Working your way up to the, to the full height of what the ramp will be. Okay, so ultimately your goal is to reach your full height of your ramp. Remember to take it slow and at your dog's pace. Don't force your dog to go to a new height if your dog's not comfortable at that height. In that situation, go back down the height and keep retraining. Okay, so you want to do this one? Ready? Yes. Yes. You can do it. Yes. Yes, good girl. And in this situation, we have a new landing zone, the top of the chair instead of silly old pillows. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Good girl. There you have it. You know, much like people, some dogs are going to want to take a shortcut. They're going to want to jump off the sides. No matter what you do and no matter how hard you train them to go straight down, they're going to want to jump off the sides. So, this little contraption, which I call a hoop, is a possible solution for you to keep your dogs from jumping off the side to keep them go straight. I'm going to show you how to make one and how to use one. All the materials needed can be purchased at your local home, Lowe's or uh, Home Depot. For my hoop, I've used just simple half-inch Schedule 40 PVC. Um, you'll need two 90-degree elbows, and you'll need two T-connectors. Um, the length of the tubing that you're going to need is going to depend on the width and height that you want your, your hoop to be and uh, that's going to be driven by the size of your ramp so you'll have to measure that to determine how much pvc you're going to need so the legs consist of two maybe uh, three inch pieces of pvc connected into a t-connector 
So you need two, <clears throat> two feet, actually, rather. The, the um, legs will be just two tubings cut to the same height. The top will be, again, driven by the width of your ramp, and you'll put your two 90-degree elbows on there. So once you have this in place, all you need to do is assemble. Assemble the legs, the legs to the feet using the T-connector. Legs to the feet using the T-connector. You can glue them in place using PVC glue, but that's an extra step that's really not necessary. Then you connect your top with, with using your 90-degree uh, elbows. And then, voila, you have your hoop. Yes. Training your dog to go through the hoop is actually quite simple. Toss a treat out as soon as the dog clears the plane of the hoop. Use your marker word, yes. And that's it. Let him get the treat. Yes. 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 it's important just to condition the dog to the new piece of equipment. Once your dog is clearly going through the hoop with no problems, you're ready to add it to the end of your ramp. Since you've introduced a new object to the, to the ramp setup, you want to go back and reinforce the ramp. Yes. 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 Oh, wait. Yes. Good job. Good job. And then back down. Yes. 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 Good job, Sierra.